This Labor Day, it's the first ever Indies Arts Fest. It's gonna showcase more than 200 feet of murals, graffiti, chalk art, painted cars, all kinds of things. Joining me live this morning is an artist with a really cool name, Coda Witskin. Get to know the name, she's a muralist. She's the Indie Arts Fest director. Coda, good to see you, good morning. Hello, good morning. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting to see this. Um, got to talk to you a little bit in the commercial break. You tell me that there's gonna be like more than 50 indie-based artists showcase. So what are we gonna see? Oh my goodness, there's gonna be all sorts of artists. If you are a graffiti lover, we're gonna have graffiti artists working on cars and a whole wall of car parts, kind of like a car park collage, really cool. We're gonna have six live muralists, all from Indiana. Um, we're gonna have almost 30 artist vendors. So if you're just into pottery and painting and photography and shopping, there's that too. Mm. But even more wacky things, like we're gonna have a body painter, um, a chalk artist, uh, a dance battle, Ooh. so it, it's everything. <laughs> I like that, dance battle. Yeah, it's been a couple be movies kids, in the so. days I like to watch too, and there's going to be some great music. Can you dive into that a little bit about what people are going to hear as well? Yes, absolutely. So we're going to have live music all day from 11 to 7. Um, Rock Garage Music is going to bring four or five of their local bands in the morning. We're going to have um, some local saxophone music by mm. Dan Nixon friends while we're changing over in the afternoon. And then actually The Do, formerly Xanadu, is going to be our headline oh, band from yeah. 4 to 7. So It's been a so while fun. since I've heard them. All right, so why do you think this event is so important? And I'm assuming it supports local artists? It does, yes. So this event is so important. Our mission is to get the word out that um, indie artists are pretty unique. We, The bulk of our artists in our economy are actually entrepreneurs and self-employed, whereas mm -hmm. in other states and cities, they tend to be a bit more corporate, which nothing wrong with that, but yeah. our artists hustle. Um, but mm -hmm. unfortunately, they're paid less than half the national average. Wow. So we're doing our best to pay all of our artists to get them as many bodies at this festival as possible so that their retail opportunities opportunities are true opportunities. So everybody's from Indy um, and the more mm. people that show up, the more people still support that mission. So very I, important. I love the part, you know, where you just said hustle, you know, cause there's a lot of folks watching and like myself that just really respect right now, that person that's gritty and just go, getting after it and doing all they can. I want you to talk about yourself though, a little bit. You're a muralist. What do you, what do we need to know about you? I am, yes. So um, I will actually be doing the entire front side of the building before the festival is uh, a backdrop to all the festivities. So um, I do murals all around town, and I specifically own Hue Murals, H-U-E. So if you see my work at Bottle Works or mm, here at yeah. Indie Arts Fest, um, that's me. My daughter just <laughs> took her senior pictures at Bottle Works, and they turned out phenomenal. I think we saw some of your work. So yes. good to see you. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. We're going to get folks information so that we can get as many people there as possible, okay? Yes, yes please, indieartsfest.com. <laughs> yeah, oh, nice to meet you. Let a so nice meeting you. A light of sunshine right there. For tickets, we're gonna get you linked up at fox59.com slash links. And uh, you know, Jim, occasionally, well, actually a lot, you meet someone for the first time just through TV, I'm like, she got that, that energy. Girl, I like that girl, yeah, right? The smile, some energy. the energy, like you're like happy. Yeah, good vibe. And uh, certainly, hopefully, a big turnout for that, Ange.